Hello guys, I'm going to show you the quickest way to build an NFT game, your own metaverse, your own dApp, with Unity. So first thing you're going to want to do is download the Chainsafe SDK. So I'll provide the link in the description down below. Once you get here, what you want to do is download this Unity package here. Once that's done downloading, you're going to go into Assets. You're going to go into Import Package, Custom Package. Then you're going to select the package you just downloaded. Once you do that, you should have three folders, Web3 Unity and WebGL Templates. The main folder we're going to be looking at is the Web3 Unity. So open up the Scenes folder. Here we already have a scene made for us. Drag that into the first scene of your game. Once you do that, make sure you have it in your build settings as the first scene in your game. And that's it for wallet integration. So you can't test this out in build mode. It has to be a WebGL build. And you can only test it in build mode. So now once we sign into the game with our wallet, we want to show our wallet address. So what you're going to want to do is inside your second scene, wherever you want to display the wallet address, inside a canvas you're going to right click UI text. I already created the text here. And inside this text object, we got this script called get account. In your assets, right click, create C sharp script, call it get account. Make sure your script name matches your file name. So here's the script it will display our wallet address that we signed in with inside that text. So make sure everything matches up. Go ahead and save. and We're going to drag that script inside the text, which I already did. So once we sign in, it's going to display our wallet address here. So next thing we want to do is show a game object if that person has that NFT. So it could be any game object, any prefab. I'm using an object inside my canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and find that. So I want to activate, I have these two objects here that are unactivated. I want to activate these objects if they have that NFT, if they own that NFT inside the wallet. So what you're going to want to do is create an empty game object. So the package we installed, it came with a few scripts. You want to make sure you're using the correct one. So here are my chin men's here. So if you have some NFTs listed on OpenSea, go into details. Here's all the important information you're going to want to need. The contract address, token ID, and token standard, and what blockchain it's on. So mine are on Polygon. Mine are ERC1155. And then I got the contract address and the token ID. So since mine are on ERC1155, I'm using ERC1155 balance of example script, which there's a few scripts here inside this package. So depending on what yours is, you would use that. So mine is ERC1155. So you're going to go into the folder Web3 Unity, go to Prefabs, 
ERC1155 balance of 1155. We're going to go ahead and drag that into our game. So I had to make some changes to this script in order for it to work. So I'm going to open up the script now. I will also provide it in the comments down below. So you're going to notice a change because I had to make some adjustments in order for this to work. So here you're going to want to set your chain, which mine was Polygon, the network, mainnet. You're going to copy that contract address and you're going to copy the token ID. So here I made a public string so we could put our own token ID inside the inspector because every NFT is going to have their own token ID. In here, if the balance of is greater than zero, it's going to show that object, which means they own that object. So if the balance is anything greater than zero, they own this object. And of course, if they don't own it, then it won't show this object. So really simple. Go ahead and save that. Put it inside a game object. And then we're going to drag the object that we want to show if they own that inside their wallet. And that should be all for integration. Everything should be working. So the only way to test this is if it's in a WebGL. So you got to build the game and test it out that way. Some browsers don't work with the web player. So what I had to do personally is post it on itch.io and test it out that way. So everything should be working properly. So now I'm going to show you guys how everything looks once you build the game. So here's our sample scene. So now once I press this login button, this notification should pop up. Gives you the option to use four wallets. I'm going to sign into my MetaMask wallet. So once you press that, there should be another notification asking you to sign in but I already did that before so if it's your first time that will pop up as well but now look here we have our text and it's now displaying our wallet address so that's working properly and now if we go to our character selection I now have a boring chin man inside my wallet I only have one chin man inside my wallet so this would be my boring chin man so that's working as well and I'm going to restart the game and I'm going to skip instead. I'm not going to sign into any wallet. And now, once I go to my character selection, I no longer have my boring chin man. So, if this tutorial helped you guys out, please give me a like, a subscribe, and thank you for watching.